Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 44 for Jim Animal System in Django. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the template context. Okay, so why we need this template context and what is this? So, we need to apply this logo dynamic. I mean to say, I want to add the logo in the admin and then we need to access in the template. But we need to access in all templates. So, how we can do that? Okay, so Django provides a system that we can access the thing or you can say we can pass the thing in all templates and we can access that easily. Okay, so this scenario is uh, you can say the known as template context. Okay, so that is a you can say the reference for the context or uh, template. Okay, so how we, how we will uh, implement this? Okay, so first of all we need to create the model for uploading the image and uh, then we will add that model in the admin so i have already created the model so here you can see that app setting and in this we have only one field logo image and i am returning the image tag and i have added this uh, model in our admin section okay so let's go to the admin here and you can see here i have added the one image if you want to add on any alt text or anything then you can add this easily so now we need to do the special thing so let's open the project level settings file so i will go to this is uh, settings.py file and here we need to add go to the templates let's uh, go to the template uh, let's list and then we will uh, this is uh, something like a tongue twister like templates list okay so you have to practice this to speak okay so this is will this will be template context okay and then we will say get logo okay so in the main we will create this file and in this file we will create this function so let's create this file okay so here we have and let's go to the let's create this file here template context here uh oh template context dot py okay and in this we need to work with model because we need to fetch the data so from dot import models okay and then definition and the definition is get logo and this will accept the request okay so as this will accept the all http request so here what we will do let's say logo equal to models dot app setting dot objects dot first okay and then data equal to logo and then we will pass this logo here okay and then we will return this data okay now currently let's say we we just simply pass the logo text okay so you can access this uh, dictionary key directly in the template okay let me show you so logo and let's open the template template let's open the any template like uh, home page let's open the home page uh, because we are on home uh, we are on actually pricing page let's go to the home page and uh, at the home page before the banner let's say here main let's say logo so refresh the page and here you can see that logo if you want to show this in a pricing page this will this will show in pricing page also because now it is accessible in any of the template okay let's go to the pricing and uh, here you can see that logo okay so now let's go to let's open our base.html because base.html is a common file so let's open the base.html file and here we have a logo okay let's say logo and the url will be same and let's go to template context so here it is logo now we will pass here logo dot image tag refresh here so here you can see that okay so it is uh, very simple if you know the method then it is I think it is very simple in anything is simple in Django if we know the methods properly. Okay. So 
this is the this is the small video for the template context and i think uh, this uh, the next one is will be the last video for this series and i have implemented all the things except the messaging system so i am thinking that we will create another project for the chatting or messaging system with web socket in django okay so i will uh, skip the messaging system in this series and then we will move to the another series okay so please add your add your uh, comments about the new series i know that uh, lots of uh, people waiting for the new series and uh, lots of people as uh, lots of people saying that uh, create the erp series so please add your thought about the erp uh, modules and all the things and then we will start that okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you are you have enjoyed this series if you are new to this channel then please subscribe like this video share this video okay so thank you so much for uh, uh, for this uh, gym management system journey okay so this is the small project that uh, uh, we have done okay so in the next video we will uh, talk more about this okay and thanks for watching this video thank you so much